Good morning. The entrance hymn is number 428. I sing the mighty power of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, oh. all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, may known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, 
and the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains or springs of water. Before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth, while as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth. And I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that afflictions produce endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured forth into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus says to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. I love, <clears throat> I love to tell this to the people every time we celebrate this feast once a year in, in the church. I, I shared with this with you before. I remember that I was six, five or six, seven, uh, five or six years old. So my mom took me to church, as many of you do. So I remember that on that Sunday was the feast of the most holy trinity, as to, today's feast day. So the priest from the pulpit began to say, well, my brothers and sisters, today we celebrate this beautiful feast, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As you know, the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, but the Father loves the Son, and the, the love between both of them is the Holy Spirit. The Father is the Creator, the Son is the Redeemer, the Holy Spirit is the Sanctifier. All of them are three person, one God, there is no God, there are no three gods, only one God, three persons. So all of a sudden, I turned to my mom and said, Mom, I don't get it. My mom said, you are not supposed to. Shut up and believe it, period. <laughs> Many things in life are like that. Who can understand yourself? Who can understand your wife? Who can understand your husband, or your behaviors, or your kids? Who can understand many things in life? Life is a mystery, and God is also a mystery. With the only difference that God is a mystery of love. And the only way to understand that mystery is through love. One love, which I always tell you, is not just a feeling, a love which is really a commitment. And for that reason, the love that you need, that we need to understand God, will not be given to us unless we ask for it. The love of God is always there, available 24 7. Ask and you will receive. Knock and it will be open for you. Lord, let me love you and the Lord will give you that grace. Lord, let me accept your will, and he will help you. Lord, let me see you again, and he will show you his face. Today we celebrate the beautiful feast of the most holy trinity. In church, everything is, is, is done in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. We are a family of believers. The family and the love between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In today's Holy Gospel, the Lord says, I have much more to tell you, but I will give it to you in the measure that you ask for it. I have so much to give you, but you have to ask for it. What did you need from God? What did you need from heaven? What did you need from the Father? What did you need from the Son? What do you need from the Holy Spirit? From the Holy Spirit, as the first reading says, we need wisdom. We need understanding. We need patience. We need kindness. We need all his gifts. 
the same gift that you received when you made your confirmation. The Holy Spirit with his seven gifts came to you to not, not only to make you good, but to make you holy. The problem begins when we don't realize how powerful we are. But when we don't realize how God works in ourselves. From God the Son, we can learn the real meaning of sacrifice for love and of love. It is in the self-giving that we understand what love is all about. It's, love is that sacrifice that a father and a mother do for the sake of her kids. A sacrifice that, that Jesus did for us when he went to the cross. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. It's a sacrifice and a mystery of love and mercy. And from God the Father, we can learn that we are here to take care of each other, to protect one another, to bring everybody back to God. As a Trinity, as they are a family, Mother Church is also inviting us to remember that we are a family, a family of believers, a family of mystery, a family of love. After that Mass, as we were walking back to our homes, my mom says to me, never forget that even though you do not understand something, it doesn't mean that that is not real. Many people claim nowadays that he is not real. But the only way to know God is having an experience of God. God who works in the silence of our lives. Do you want to know the Father? Do you want to experience the Son? Do you want to love the Holy Spirit? Give some room in your soul for silence and you will meet your God. Give Jesus, give the Father, give to the Holy Spirit five minutes of silence every day and you will know your God. Because it is in the, in the silence of this little heart in which God resides and lives forever. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful you're named in all the earth. We human beings, we are the most beautiful creature on earth. Unlike the other creatures, when God says, be, be done, and he was done, God took his time to to take from the dust of the earth ourselves and he made us and he and he wished <sighs> he gave us the holy spirit we are god's most beautiful work in creation his divine life dwells in us that's why we can call him our father that's why we call him our brother that's why we call him our sanctifier my brothers and my sisters, let us celebrate this beautiful feast in an atmosphere of mystery, a mystery of love. There are other mysteries in life as well, but God will reveal them to us leader by leader that we can, lo we can love them as he loves us as well. The person next to you is also a mystery, but that is a mystery of love. A mystery which you have to uncover every day and God will always show you the way. Let us celebrate this feast with such a great joy and, and thanksgiving to God for he has revealed himself to us through our Lord Jesus Christ that as we accept it, we love it and as we love it, we receive graces upon graces from God, from heaven and from all the angels and saints. My brothers and my sisters, I have so much to tell you, but this is not the moment yet, the Lord says. But if you ask for it, you will receive it. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, a mystery and family of love, be always with us and remain in us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. In the book which in front of you, if you go to page number nine, 
you will find the creed. And let us recite our professional faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, death and was buried, and, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as children of our loving Father, we bring our prayers to Christ, begging the help of the Holy Spirit. That all who are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit proclaim the good news with their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations remember always the dignity of every human being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who carry new life and those searching for a reason to enjoy it, that they may be comforted in the hope and joys life brings. Let us pray to the Lord. That families be given the grace they need to reflect the Trinity's communion of love. Let us pray to the Lord. That the members of this community reach out to all who feel isolated and abandoned. Let us pray to the Lord. For our sick, Kevin Joseph, Janet Fortier, Mary Lou Fortier, Robert Fortier, and those listed in the bulletin, that the Lord will restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those that have died in the peace of Christ, Glenn S. Creedon, Thomas Bergman, Alan Dor Espinoza, James Marrow, Thomas Francis Ivanisco, Daniel A. Petrillo, Michael A. Santos, Baby Merchant, and especially Alton Clement, as well as Domingo Goya, that they may be welcomed into the company of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a few seconds of silence, let us present to God all our prayers and needs. Merciful Father, you have made us heirs to your promises. Give us a taste of the marvelous harmony of the Holy Trinity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The second collection today is in memory of fathers who have passed away. The offertory hymn is number 559, Hymn of Praise.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, Invite it, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphims, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of that resurrection. In a few seconds of silence, let us pray for all our deceased ones. Remember our brothers, Alton Clemente, Domingo Weal, Glenn Credent, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. On earth that it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. 
trespasses against us, and the lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said for your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord. not worthy that you should enter, enter my roof, under my roof, but, but say only the word, say the my word, soul, my shall, soul be shall be Since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of His Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. The communion hymn is number 432, How Great Thou Art.
of announcements before we go home. Next Sunday, we celebrate Father's Day. So there will be our regular mass scheduled on Saturday, 5 p.m. and on Sundays, and on Sunday, 8, 10, and 12. But we also have a special mass for our deceased fathers at Assumption Cemetery. And the mass is going to be at 2.30 in English and 4 p.m. in Spanish. The mass is, the mass is going to be in our new chapel. It's all the way in the, in the back of our cemetery. So if you haven't seen the chapel, so you're more than welcome to join us next Sunday for the masses. Also, this week on June 15th, which is on Wednesday, we begin the novena to the most sacred heart of Jesus, whose feast date is the, 20th, the 24th of June. There will be a special mass at 6 p.m. here, a bilingual special mass, followed by a procession on the streets with the statue of the small sacred heart of Jesus and the blessed sacrament as well. Um, on June 22nd, also to celebrate the sacred heart of Jesus, there will be a special mass in Italiano, in Italian, at 7 p.m. here in the church as well. And finally, for all those who last week took the baby bottle to support our pro-life movements. So remember that you have, you have to bring the baby bubbles next week. Okay? If you haven't, and if you want to, we have a couple of more baby bubbles in the back of the church as well. And finally, today at 3 p.m., some people are going to take the, a cruise, a boat in the river, and go around Pixel area to pray the rosary from 3 to 4.30. So tickets are still available. So if you want to go, you can meet, meet Connie there today at 3 p.m. at the Hudson the Hudson, Hudson Pixie Harbor, okay, down the, by the river. And Miss Ellen, our condolences to you. And Miss Ellen is a long-time parishioner. She just lost her husband last week. So you are in our prayers. And we understand that there are no words which can console you. But 
we give you the best we have, Jesus Christ. May the Lord always give you peace at this moment. Please stand. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O oh Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our, our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and to thou, o Prince of the, of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and in all of evil the spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ring of souls. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. The recessional hymn is number 609, Thanks Be to God. Thanks be to God, whose love has gathered us this day. Thanks be to God, who 